Okay. Now, from you should have you should be under your UI sounds. This is a uh, part two of my first one. <clears throat> now, scroll all the way down to enter. You see right here it says SMS receive one dot calf. Should see you should have that, and then part go all the way down to six. These are your original SMS tones that's already on your iPhone. Now, the file that we just dragged over. Over here, the file we just dragged over, you need to edit the whole name of that file. The name. You want to edit to the name, the same name over here that's on SMS received. So if we want to re replace the first one, we have to copy this and then put it on the file that we want to move over. So, just to be safety, I mean just to be precautious or whatever, if you want to keep these, just drag, click, drag over. I already have mine over there, so just drag over to, just click over here to desktops. My, it should be on my documents already now. Just go down to desktops and then click your original one and move it over so you can have it. Because once you drag over the file, it's not going to be there no more. The, original file is not going to be there because you're going to overwrite it so now we go over here on oh my bed there's my music that I have right here that's the music that I want to convert over so you go back to uh, your phone and then right click and rename you want to copy this whole thing press copy go to your file that you want to rename copy this whole thing paste My bad. <laughs> Shit. Damn. Hold on. I got the original right here, so let me rename this. Orange. Okay. Now let me go to the one that I want to convert over. Back over here. Paste. Alrighty then. Now. Oh yeah. And then if if you're on Vista and you drag over your file from iTunes to your desktop and then it'll show up uh, I, don't, I think it's going to show up an album cover or no it's not going to show up an album cover it's going to show up like something like a Windows player sign or whatever that's not going to convert over it has to be quick quick player so just right click it go to properties and then opens with press change and then you should press quick player okay alright then bring up your your login, your wins login, and then my bad. Let me show him this real quick. Get your SMS file, come all the way over, and then drag it. Press copy. It should say remote file SMS receive one already exists. Overwrite, say yes. Should be copying, 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 copying. Now, that should be done. Now you want to go to your iPhone. And then go to settings. <laughs> Let's 
sound. Now, go to whichever one. If it was one, then go to one. If two, three, whatever, whichever one you wanted to replace, just go to that. Mine was one, so. Okay, so that's the one that I customly did, and then this is the one I did before. This is the other one that I changed. Uh, so, there you have it easy as that very simple thank you for watching and uh, phone 3g <laughs> but um if you got any questions or help or whatever just comment me uh, <clears throat> rate subscribe please subscribe I'm doing the subscribe thing or whatever now subscribe want some phones from us holla at me I got video done on that phones turbo sims I got you and um but rate comment subscribe right there <laughs> right there but all right whatever I'm being coined now right there uh, yeah rate or comment but um thank you uh it's cool Eli 4 and that's how you get your SMS tones. Peace.